In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can make money as a micro-influencer. Now, I know when we think about being an influencer, we start to think about how you can buy the cars, the houses, the travels, the vlogs, living the dream life with millions of followers, everyone knowing your name, and it seems like everyone who's trying to be that gets left behind. But on my journey to being someone of an influencer, I have been quite surprised with how much money there is actually in being a micro-influencer. Now, I'm not just talking about from AdSense revenue, but from the amount of companies, sponsored post opportunities to make money as a micro influencer it may actually convince you to turn on the camera and get started today so if we haven't met already my name is Anthony McLemore I make videos about personal finance investing and side hustles and to get started let's talk about what a micro influencer is so there is no technical definition for being a micro influencer but it is normally considered as someone who has between 1,000 and 100,000 followers on social media this number does range greatly depending on what platform you are 100,000 subscribers on YouTube will be much more valuable than let's say 100,000 followers on TikTok or even on Instagram for example but the point I'm trying to make is that you are someone who is fairly well known definitely not a mega superstar but has an established presence in some form on social media and to actually be a micro influencer means that you already have somewhat of an established niche you have some engagement on your post and honestly I have read many articles that say that brands actually love to work with micro influencers more so than big influencers because of the high engagement rate they have on their post because of the authenticity that they bring to the table if you have looked at some of the viral videos on tiktok lately people are seeming to want to gravitate more towards those real less polished videos than those super upfront highly edited videos and that allows people like me and you who are micro influencers or who one day wish to be a micro influencer the opportunity to make money at the end of the day businesses want to make money and in order to make money through advertising they have to have a conversion from what people see to what they actually spend money on and that actually leads me to the very first way that you can make money as a micro influencer and something that i didn't realize there was so much money in for myself which is going to be sponsored posts and brand deals so i'm sure if you've been on youtube for any period of time you know what a sponsored post is it's usually a cut out right in the middle of the video where a creator thanks a company or a brand for giving them money to promote whatever product or service they want in the video i have not been doing a great job of monitoring my emails and accepting sponsored posts this year as well as i have not been doing a great job of keeping my upload schedule to keep my views and my engagement up so i haven't done any sponsored posts this year but in the past i've done over 10 to 15 sponsored posts here on the channel and with less than 100,000 subscribers, I was getting paid 500 plus dollars for each sponsored video that I did. And I specifically remember the first time that I asked for $500 to do a video, and I thought that there was no way a company was willing to pay me that amount of money just to make a video. My video was getting about 100 to 1,000 views at the time, and I just didn't think that that was realistic. But to my surprise, they accepted the first offer, and many companies after that accepted to even more money that I asked for. And I realized that companies that have a fairly large budget are willing to pay to get micro influencers to promote their products. The way I think about it is that if the company is willing to spend five thousand dollars on an advertisement campaign five thousand dollars to an influencer over a hundred thousand subscribers may not be all that attractive they may only want to accept twenty to twenty five thousand even hundreds of thousand dollars to promote a product to their millions of followers but with that same five thousand dollar budget if they can get ten to twenty micro influencers with ten to twenty thousand followers to make a video about it they would be able to get that same conversion flow across twenty different videos instead of across one creator making one video so by me only asking for five hundred dollars this means that they have forty five hundred dollars in this particular example to go and try to get other micro influencers to promote their product and also with micro influencing looking at the current number of views and engagement is a little bit dishonest as to what actually can happen because a lot of the times when micro influencers actually continue to create content and their videos continue to get views as those old videos start to recirculate online they can then get thousands of hundreds of thousands of new views as that channel blows up so it's more like an investment for the future rather than purchasing for the current engagement in my example if some of the videos got thousands of views they would have only paid $500 for any new engagement that those videos bring them in the future but I would say that the best way to go about this is just to stay authentic stay true to your niche and just do what you do whatever you're doing get really good at it and then when brands reach out to you for a sponsored post only accept the ones that actually align with what you're doing so for me as a personal finance channel I tend to accept sponsored posts from companies promoting financial wealth from fintech startups and I honestly have been a little bit too optimistic in the past with accepting sponsorships I did a couple of videos for some cryptocurrency apps that ended up failing so at the same time when you're trying to make money you want to really be cognizant of protecting your audience so that they don't lose money from what you promote to them and all those sponsored posts and brand deals will be the most popular way that you can make money from micro influencers I have to throw in that you can also make money from AdSense revenue as well because for me and my channel that has been the most consistent form of passive income that I have made from posting content online I do tend to make money online from a variety of sources but the reason that I can fund these videos and I can do some of the things that I do on the channel like pay for courses to learn how to edit like to learn how 
how to make thumbnails is because of the AdSense revenue. All of the money that comes from the other revenue streams are going to be extra add-ons on top of that. So even if you're posting on TikTok, but I know you're watching this video on YouTube, once you get into the partner program, as your videos get views, you will start to make money through AdSense revenue. Now it will take a considerable amount of time before you can actually live off of this money or you can consider it a part-time job. But as you stay consistent and you continue posting, this number will increase over time as well. But the third way that you can make money as a micro influencer is going to be through affiliate marketing. Now I don't have a dedicated video about affiliate marketing here on the channel, but I have mentioned it in a lot of my videos in the past. And this is simply when you promote a product or a service and you get paid a commission when someone buys that product or service. If you're on TikTok now, the TikTok shop is one of the biggest affiliate marketing things I think I've seen since my time on social media. You have creators whose sole purpose is to promote products instead of actually creating content now. There used to be YouTube channels about this way back when, but I have not seen that in a very long time. So to see such an affiliate marketing craze be so popular on TikTok is absolutely crazy to me. But at the same time, every single person who uses a creator's affiliate marketing link allows that creator to monetize the efforts from creating content online. I like all kinds of content. I tend to only stick to finance for my own personal preferences, but I'm a fan of hustling. So you got to get it how you live. I appreciate all forms of hustle. I actually used to heavily promote an affiliate marketing link here on my channel. And it was for the public app where you sign up, you get a free stock just for signing up. And I believe in one of my most recent videos, I talked about exactly how much money I made for that. And my opinion on this is that this can be another form of passive income because if you were a creator who was already creating content about, let's say for my example, a personal finance video, let's say I was talking about the top 10 ways to make money in Alabama or something like that. And at the very end of that video, I said, Hey, if you want a free stock, just sign up to this app. You don't got to pay anything. Just sign up and you'll get some free money. Me saying that at the final 10 seconds of the video did not affect my planning for the video, did not add any more time to me editing the video. But by me just mentioning that affiliate marketing link in one or even all of my videos for a year straight, you will start to get some people who's like, hmm, I think I will check that out and actually click on it and they will get a free stock and you get a free stock. And at the end of the year, for me, I made $1,500 just for promoting something at the final 10 seconds of every video. That's crazy for someone who has less than 100,000 subscribers. However, moving on to the next venture that I'm actually trying to explore into, the next way that you can make money as a micro influencer is going to be by selling digital products. Now, I haven't actually offered a lot of digital products here on the channel. I've always planned to offer some digital products, but it wasn't until recently where I actually began diving my nose in and really working on my digital products. And if you don't know what digital products is, it's basically when you create a digital product, I don't know, like a workbook or a course or something, and you sell it online. So you put all of your work in up front, you put it on the internet, and then people buy it if they see value in it. So for me, the one digital product that I have been working on or that I have released for pre-order recently is going to be a thumbnail masterclass where I simply teach people how to make thumbnails. Now, I always say that I don't think I'm the best at making thumbnails. I think I make thumbnails very good in my opinion for what I do and for someone who doesn't want to pay hundreds of dollars to a larger creator to maybe learn how to make a thumbnail. So I decided to put all of my expertise into about four or five hours worth of footage in order to teach people what I know about what I do. So I only offer it for a couple dollars. So I'm not trying to get rich off of it. But in my head, it was something that I had wish I had the ability to buy when I was first getting started. So that is for pre-order now on the channel. I have legit about eight hours worth of footage that I'm working on editing down into bite-sized lessons. But I do have a free preview ready to download right now if you want to just check out what it may be. And that is going to be the first link in the description below. But moving on to the next way that you can make money as a micro influencer, this is going to be by creating user generated content. And I wasn't exactly sure what user generated content when I was playing this video, but then I actually saw an Under Armour ad on TikTok where a creator was just making a regular day in the life vlog, but the actual Under Armour official account posted it itself. And what that means for user generated content is that you are simply going to be making content like you normally make content, but instead of you uploading it as a sponsored post, you are going to be giving it to the company or the brand that you are working with and they are going to be uploading it for themselves. So it's a little bit mixed up, but it works the same essentially. And this is an area that I'm going to be honest that I am not experienced in. But if someone was to come to me for an offer for user generated content, I would try to accept a flat fee and a percentage of any sales or leads that that video generates. But until I get more experience in that area, I won't talk too in depth about that. And then the next way that you can make money as a micro influencer is going to be one of my favorites as well. I know I say this a lot, but it's going to be by paid shout outs and collaborations. Collaborations as a small influence or as a micro influencer can actually make or break your channel because as a micro influencer what you are looking for more than anything is going to be exposure exposure to different niches exposure to different audiences and you just want to get people familiar with seeing your face for a certain thing i want people to associate anthony mclemore with being the personal finance guy on youtube now i know there's a lot of personal finance guys on youtube but i want people to associate me with talking fast making finance videos doing side hustles and overall making pretty interesting content and until you get enough eyes on you until you get enough people familiar with you are a great way to get in front of more people is through collaborations. And honestly, I wish I could say that micro influencers just love to work with micro influencers.
resources. But in order to really catch someone's eye, in order to really get on someone else's channel, you can send people emails and say, hey, I'll pay you a couple hundred dollars. Do you want to be in one of my videos? Or can I be in one of your videos? Something like that. Or can you shout out my channel on your channel or in your video? Something like that it will definitely help you expedite your way to making money. And I think I worded that as a way how you can grow your channel, but a way that you can make money from that is by accepting those offers for paid shoutouts and collaborations in return for a little bit of money. But with all that being said, I really hope you found at least one thing of value of how you can make some more money as a micro influencer today. I know that being a micro influencer, it can be very hard on your mental health, on whether or not you believe in yourself, all this and that. But I guarantee you that with enough consistency, anything is going to be possible. So if you did find anything of value, then hit that like button for your boy as it does help the channel out and it makes me happy. Just go ahead and tap it. Don't take that long. Just tap it real quick and I'll be happy. However, if you do decide to subscribe and see more of these videos, then I'll see you in the next one.